Hi guys, um, hello, um, welcome to my page, uh, The Beast from Punjab. Um, I hope you all are loving my videos and um, you know enjoying it. Um, I can see uh, the messages that most of the people are actually happy that you know my solutions are helping them to solve their problems. Um, I'm glad that you know my actually um, you know helping tricks are actually helping you a lot. Um, I remember that when uh, one of the guys said, uh, you know, uh, if uh, I wouldn't have watched your video, then uh, the technical guy probably would have charged them, you know, uh, 200 uh, or something rupees, I think that was from India, uh, said would have charged uh, just for visiting the house, um, you know. Uh, yes, they could have been like, you know, there's so many technical problems that comes up. Um, uh, they, you know, everyone charges their money, but I'm just trying to solve these issues. Um, you know, but anyway, thank you so much for the good comments and uh, liking and uh, subscribing my page. Uh, if you haven't subscribed or liked my page, please, please, please do so. Um, you know, uh, I always try to bring as many tricks as I can. Uh, please, you know, like and subscribe. But anyway, let's come to the point. Today's video's purpose is to how um, the iPad Generation 1 and Generation 2 uh that can be used or how the youtube video can be or youtube app well not the app but youtube can be watched on these ipads so yeah it's just gonna be a tricky uh but yeah it's simple um you can watch the youtube and you can play the facebook as well so it's very easy okay so this one is a uh, ipad uh, generation 2 well ipad mini generation 2 i bought this one from the internet for 80 pound you know it's perfect you know no scratch no nothing so yeah, it's I bought this one for my son. Uh, you know he's a little, he likes to watch the cartoon on his YouTube channel. So you know he likes the cartoons and he likes the coloring as well. So which is why I just bought this one for him instead of the expensive ones really. And um, so yeah, it's 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 very really nice. You know it works perfectly fine. Nothing wrong with it. Everything is fine. So yeah, so I have bought this iPad for him. And now what happens is, since I bought this iPad, uh, what I found was you cannot update the software of this iPad. So as you can see in this one, um, the iPad, um, you know, the software, it stays on 9 point something on. Wait, just check in. I'll just show you that one. It will just say 0.35 or 36. So that's where it just stacks on and you cannot update this iPad anymore okay and this is the reason why the YouTube and Facebook apps doesn't really work or don't support these old iPads um, and that could be the reason that you know uh, the iPads the older version one is quite cheaper so if, if you're really keen to have a hand on the iPad you know don't hesitate yeah there you go 9.3.5 so you know you can't update any further so that's the problem with the generation one and generation two ipads okay just keep that in mind so whenever you buy the any ipad and somebody giving you the cheaper one just remember that if it's generation one or generation two whether it's a mini or the or bigger one um then they're all gonna have a problem because you cannot update the software okay but anyway let me come back to this so basically this trick is for how you can actually watch the youtube okay i showed you the app this is the app I turned it on, uh, watch, it is going to on, there you go. So it's asking update to require, I can't update because of, you know, it doesn't have the updated version in the iPad, therefore we can't do it, so I'd rather quit, you know, it just always take you that way anyway. So yeah, back on this, so you can see there's an error message as well, so that's the problem with this, so it doesn't really work, okay. So how can I watch the YouTube on my iPad then, okay, so I make your life easier. Well, that is going to work, okay? Go to Safari, okay? In the Safari, go to the search, okay? Type www, okay, dot YouTube dot com, okay? It came up, but you type full. Uh, it says open this page in YouTube. No, you do not want to do that, okay? Just cancel that. You're going to leave it as it is, open in a tab in desktop side, okay? So this is like a desktop version, okay? As you can see, in desktop version, it's going to working fine, okay? Which you can see, Teletub is going to start, okay? Don't try to open up the, uh, you know, app or anything. You're just playing the trick, really. So there's no point for this, okay? As you can see, 
um, now the Teletub is gonna turn on, you know. Um, and once it's on, you know, you can make the screen bigger. There you go. And now the kids can watch the their cartoons, whatever they like. However, that's a bit long process, right? Um, you know, each time you're gonna go to the Safari, type the YouTube, then search Teletubbies and then go for it, right? So yeah, we're gonna make it life easier for the kids and they can find it easily for them, right? So for that, what you need to do is stick to this. Then can you see this button uh, right at the top? Um, this one, click on this, okay? Wow, touch, touch the screen, it's a touch screen. Click on that. And now on the right hand side, can you see add to home screen? Click on this button. Okay, once you click on that, you can see the link is coming and you say add. So once you add this, okay, there you go. It just comes up on your, um, the tab, okay. And it's on your iPad now, so it's on the screen. That, that looks like an app now, okay. You can remove all the other apps if you want to, okay. So basically you have this sign as an app sign, but this is a, like a web browser. Uh, the uh, you know favorite kind of thing is just comes on your um, iPad so when you click on this so whatever the favorite version or whatever you were watching and you have saved that one as it is so it will literally open the same video so that's the good thing about this okay so you know you're in this play start that's very good for the kids why because when you save this link on the Apple well the iPad and the kids will just touch the button and then eventually their favorite cartoon will appears up and that's it that's they can watch okay and then the best thing is you can just turn off the autoplay as well so they kind of be keep watching the same thing as well so they can't go anywhere else or you can just uh, put the security log sign in and put the security on and say just for the kids version so they wouldn't be showing any other videos or anything so your kids cannot go anywhere okay just for your own safety for the kids safety as well so yeah that's the quick trick really you know how you can watch the youtube you can search you know go that right you can type search whatever the video you want to watch it's perfectly fine it works fine okay so that's one thing okay now similar thing is the same happens with the youtube as well you can just go there save the youtube save your login page click on it it's gonna open up as a desktop site but it will open up in a safari so yeah that's the best tricks okay so it will just make your life easier, but these things really work, okay? Now, the next thing is, I was gonna say, I know some, I have so many viewers. However, I don't have that many subscribers. Um, I don't know what is going on, uh, but please, 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 you know, um, I can see so many good comments. I have like more than 4,000 nice comments, you know, you lovely people, it's like, I'm really, really pleased. I never, never, um, you know, um, assume that you know i gonna have received that many good comments or that many people's gonna like my videos uh i was just you know just trying uh, i thought maybe i can help the people and that's what i really want to do um i know in the comments some people was asking or oh, they should really help me and this and that you know but no i don't need any of that kind of help really you know um i'm just i'm just glad that um my tricks are really helping you lot uh, and you lot are enjoying my videos that's all it matters to me um, but please if you can please subscribe and share my video and please and like the video as well you know that really helps me uh, it just motivate me to bring more videos and um, i have more videos in my pipeline really you know where i can uh, you know show you uh, the new products which um, some of them are expensive but there's uh, like other version is available which is a similar things what the expensive ones do uh, but the price are much better so i probably can share those things with you like you know where i buy those things and how much they cost and stuff as such as this ipad you know um if you look at the new ipad it's just the chips are different but technically the look and the other things kind of the same but you wouldn't see this button anyway because that's all like uh, face uh, recognitions or the finger you know uh, uh, typing so you know it's, it's just a different uh, version but they are more faster the new one now uh, but anyway i'm just meant to show you the old one so that's why i just brought this and i thought i can give you the good quick trick how we can actually fix if we got any problems the best thing about this ipad is you know the screens are very smooth and um, that's the best thing and they never freeze okay all the other things are working perfectly fine however 
And uh, most of you probably are thinking why I paid 80 pound for old iPad, you know, which doesn't even update. I'd rather have a bought, you know, uh, Android tablet. And um, the problem is, I don't like personally the Android tablets. I'm not against the Android, but Android tablets are not that good because I've used maybe three or four so far. Um, but they always have a problem with the screen, like it freezes and sometimes the app is on and suddenly just turned off. And uh, sometimes they got another problems as well, you know, which is really annoys me. Um, and I'm like, what's the fix for this, you know? And sometimes I find it very, very hard to fixing like Android kind of things. I know it's easier than Apple, but sometimes I just don't like the quality of it. And the, the, the freezing part, it just really annoys me. And sometimes the screen doesn't work, okay? Now, if I would have paid 80 pound for Android tablet, that would have been freezing all the time, okay? Because I know I had one and it was keep like it wasn't even moving and it just takes a bit of time to update the processor or so on. I don't know, maybe the memory issue, maybe the RAM issues could be anything. But with this, look at how old it is, you know? And uh, it is like nearly, I think, seven years old uh, or so on. But still, look, look at the screen. It's working perfectly fine, you know? No, no, I haven't seen anything like where it freeze or any other issues or app is dropping or anything. Yes, app's not uploading, but we can use this, you know, uh, Safari, uh, the web browser, which can help us out. Um, so yeah, you know, I think uh, the Apple or the iPads are quite good, uh, which is why I just normally use these. Uh, but yeah, I'm not against the Android or anything, you know, it's personal choice, but yeah, they are good as well. And some, some things are very good, uh, but some things I would say the Apple is quite good in some, some things, but everyone's got their own opinion. So yeah. Um, but other than that, um, yes, I will bring you the more videos, uh, hopefully, um, soon. Uh, sorry, I know this video has took a little bit extra and I think it's going to be longer now as well. Um, and hopefully I will um you know present it nicely too and maybe you know um but yeah you know just i apologize if i said anything wrong or anything you know uh but yeah please subscribe my videos uh subscribe my channel and like my videos you know and uh yeah that would be great thank you so much thanks for your time to watching my video um much appreciated you know thank you so much all right take care bye bye